name is Jennifer O'Brien, and I'm with Accounting Business Solutions by JCS. What we're going to review in this little webinar is how to pay your SAGE 50 payroll taxes automatically online using an add-on called Atrix software. We're going to review creating a tax schedule tailored for your business. We're going to talk about single state withholding payment. Then we're going to go ahead and talk about multiple state withholding payments. We're going to review and I'm going to show you how to make your federal 941 and 940 unemployment taxes, file the form, have the money taken out of your bank account, and just how easy it is. Finally, I'm going to talk about our upcoming series for small businesses on business taxes. One of the things we'd like to do is help educate our small business customers on why and how and all of the details regarding business tax liabilities so that they can better understand the things that they need to do for their business in a timely fashion. Well, let's get going. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the tax schedule that we've created for our first sample company. What we've done is broken down this tax schedule into groups. At the top, we're going to talk about all the payroll monthly tax payments that need to be made, as well as the monthly sales tax payments that need to be made. Below that, we've defined our quarterly payroll taxes, our quarterly sales taxes, the things that need to be done annually for payroll, annually for sales tax, and then the other corporate annually filed tax forms that need to be made. Once we've completed making our tax schedule, the next thing we're going to look at is actually paying those taxes using SAGE 50 and the add-on called Atrix. We're going to go ahead and we've opened up our company now we're going to use the forms option from reports and forms. We're going to select tax forms, payroll tax forms. And now we've actually launched the little utility that will help us pay and manage our tax forms. We're going to go ahead and select and start with the state of Michigan for federal withholding. You'll notice that once I select an available form, I get a small description that tells me what this form is used for. Below the state and form, I then have to select the filing period that I want to pay the taxes for. Now that I've defined the filing period that I wish to pay the taxes for, I'm going to launch the tax payment process. Telling me that I need to complete some fields. I'm going to go ahead and select OK. <coughs> And this is the 160 form for the state of Michigan for my withholding. You'll notice it tells me how much tax that I need to pay to the state of Michigan. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm going to print my tax form for my file. If I wanted, I could actually save this to a PDF on my computer or my server. Once I've printed my form, I'm going to select the next step, and it's just asking me to verify that what it's displayed and notified me that I'm going to pay in taxes is correct. If for some reason it's not correct, I might have to go ahead and log out of this process and back into Sage 50 and determine what's not right. The next step is to select, to select e-file. That means I'm going to electronically file this to the state of Michigan. It's asking me to log in.
and to provide my password. Asking me to confirm information. Asking me for a date that I'm going to pay these taxes on. I'm going to go ahead and populate that field. That needs to be, I believe, 24 hours out of the day or the time I'm actually filing. It tells me that I don't owe anything. I've already paid for an annual fee for this service. It's again confirming that I'm going to provide to the state of Michigan a tax payment and asking me to confirm and submit this to the state. It's giving me what's referred to as an AFID tax number. That's just my confirmation number for these taxes. I'm going to go ahead and write that down. And I might make a note of it in my tax form. I'm going to close. What happens at that particular point in time is it's going to send the tax payment as well as the form into the state of Michigan. It will then send an email confirmation to my email address specified on my account that the form has been filed. Once the state of Michigan has received my tax payment, additionally, I will get a confirmation from the state of Michigan that they have received the tax payment. So that takes care of my first payroll tax state that needs to be paid. I'm going to go ahead and, as we discussed, select my second state. The form that I need for the state of Michigan is called the IL-501. So at the very top portion of my screen, I'm going to define which state and which form I need to go and pay my taxes for. In the lower portion of my screen, I'm going to define my filing period. Once that's been done, I can go ahead and execute the process that will file to the state of Illinois the tax form and make the tax payment on the behalf of the company that I'm dealing with. Again, the next thing I want to do is print my form, confirm that the amount that I'm going to pay is correct. Select my e-file process. Enter my password. Confirm my business information. Enter the date that I would like the tax payment made on behalf of the business. Confirm the filing period one last time if I choose. Confirm the amount of the tax payment that I'm making. And submit the tax payment. Again, I would make a note of the AFID number for this particular tax payment being made. So that takes care of my state and my multiple state tax filing. The next tax that I'm going to choose to pay is my federal 941, my FICA, my Medicare, my federal withholding. Again, once I select the tax type I'm going to pay, the description gives me an idea of the taxes that I'm going to submit to the taxing body. On this particular tax form, I simply have to tell it whether it's the 941 or the 940. Again, I need to confirm the amount of the taxes that I'm paying. I'm going to print a copy of the document, or I could save it electronically.
going to log into my account. Confirm all the information. Select a date that the tax needs to be made by. Again, it must be 48 hours out. And submit my tax form for my federal 941. And the final tax that we're going to pay today is, again, the 940 taxes. I'm going to define a period. I select my tax period. That I'm paying unemployment taxes for federal. that I'm electronically paying my taxes. The system is giving me a notification that I've already made one federal tax payment. Well, I know, but that was my tax payment for my 941 taxes. This tax payment is my 940 tax. There's some checks and balances in place so that you can't accidentally submit the same tax twice. Because I know this is my 940 tax, not my 941 tax, I am going to select submit this as a new tax filing. Also, if you make an error in one of your tax filings, you can resubmit it. It's pretty easy to do. It's just a safety check in the event that we don't do something the way that we need to. I've defined our date. I've confirmed my company information and the tax period that I wish, wish to submit the tax for. I've made a note of the AFID number. And now all of my taxes are paid. So I might, on my tax schedule, list all the AFID numbers and the date that I submitted the taxes. Now the last thing that I want to show you is the kind of information, because it's kind of scary doing this for the first time, that we get. when we pay these taxes electronically. You'll notice that in my inbox, I now have confirmation from the company that takes care of the tax forms that they've received my tax payment and that they will go ahead and forward those tax payments into the correct taxing body that the liability is owed to. Additionally, sometime over the next 24 hours, I will get a confirmation from each of the taxing bodies that they've received my tax payment. Right now, I like to print those out and keep them with my tax schedule and keep all of these things in a single file in the event I need to go back later and check or confirm that I submitted and they received. It's pretty easy to do. And that took about 10 minutes to pay our monthly state withholdings, actually for two states, and our federal tax uh, liabilities, as well as our 941, our 940 tax liability. At the end of each quarter, it takes about another 10 minutes to go ahead and submit all of those tax filings as well pretty easy to do and a lot simpler than it used to be. So let's talk about what we talked today. We talked about creating a tax schedule. We talked about single state withholding payments, making multiple state withholding payments as well. We went through the steps required to make your 941 federal tax payments and your 940 tax payments. And just briefly, I'd like to talk about our upcoming review of business taxes. If you have any questions, please give us a call. 
we're going to have a series of about 15 workshops where we review various business taxes that small businesses need to file and pay. If you wish to attend those or get a recorded um, viewing of those presentations, please just send an email to solutions at jcscomputer.com with small business tax review in the subject line, or you can give us a call at 800-475-1047 and ask for Jennifer O'Brien. If there's anything we can do to help you understand or set up and use your small business accounting application for Sage or Intuit or Sage 100 ERP, ERP please give us a call. Again, that's Jennifer O'Brien, 800-475-1047, signing off for this session. Thanks, and have a great day.